Hello everyone. Welcome back. I hope you're all well and you enjoyed um, the first video with Chef Michael on Monday. I don't know about you guys, but I am very excited for what's to come. Um, I think we'll be learning so much and yeah, just can't wait to, to see Michael's content. So stay tuned for that. Today I would like to talk to you about being active. Um, on Friday last week we talked about the mind as a foundation of well-being and today midweek let's talk about being active. I think especially at the moment as we're spending so much time indoors it's so important that we stay active. Um, so therefore my objectives for today's video are to explore why is exercise good for you, um, relevant to the situation at the moment, what sort of exercise is out there, what can we be doing, when is it, when is it best to exercise and where can you exercise. So those are um, the few points that I'd like to focus on. So let's get started with the big question why should we exercise? I think it's always very important to establish that first before you actually start doing something. Um, we've been thinking and we thought that most of you, or a lot of you, um, you know, had very active jobs and um, that could be just walking to the bus station in the morning or even walking to work and then getting to work and, and running around in the hotel or in the restaurant where it's super fast paced and you've got to move quick. Um, and obviously, I think we sometimes underestimate that all of these things are exercise us just in our daily lives how we move about that is part of us exercising um it doesn't have to be a cardio workout that makes you completely sweat um and then you have the feeling it was an exercise so um our daily lives are part of us exercising and obviously at the moment we're missing out on on most of these things um so Therefore, I think it's so important that we place, we replace those with some extra physical activities at home. Um, and this is the whole purpose of this video, to, to look at those, those things. I think generally physical activity is associated with lower rates of mental health challenges. And for me, it's just an essential part of our well-being. So generally, it's super, super important, but now more important um, than ever. So we've established the why now, which um, I hope you, you sort of agree with. And now let's look at what kind of exercise can we be doing? And I think it's all about finding an activity that suits you, you enjoy, suits your mobility, suits your fitness. Um, that's really, really important. And you might have heard about cardio versus strength training. Um, and I never really knew which one of those I should be focusing on. Um, cardio exercise are, for example, running or high intensity interval training. Um, those exercises burn calories and they make you physically fit. Um, they also improve your function of your lungs and your heart, uh, which is really good. So that's sort of the cardio side. And then strength training exercises are push-ups or sit-ups. And these are exercises that are more focused on the muscles. They're making the muscles stronger um, and boost your metabolism as well. And you also burning calories. Therefore, it's said that it's important to do a bit of both, um, to incorporate that into, into your, your exercise. So I just wanted to um, establish that. But now let's look at particular exercises that you can be doing um, at the moment. The first one, the most obvious one, is walking um, or running, if that's something you, you like doing. Um, I think it's really important with that it's an opportunity to get some daylight um, which is really really important so at the moment we can still go out for exercise once a day as you might know um, as long as you stay local and you practice social distancing that's really really important um, but let's talk more about exercises that you can be doing um, at home one of them would be stretching I think 
Most of you have probably heard of stretching. Um, it's what people sometimes do before they go on a run or do any sort of exercise. Um, but it's actually really, really powerful in my in my opinion. Even if you just do it for 10 minutes, um, it really has a really good effect. Um, then there's yoga. Um, so yoga videos um, are out there. Um, we will be providing you with resources, um, so links to um, yoga videos that we found helpful and we're going to put them in the description box below um, for you to go straight in, click on it if you're interested. And it's important, you know, there's different levels, there's beginner levels, medium level so you can really choose so even if you've never even considered about doing yoga and um, this is what I've done I I never really wanted to do it didn't really know much about it and then I did one of these beginner 20 minute um, classes online and I thought oh I'm actually feeling quite good after this so that's how I sort of got into it um, then there's circuit training. Um, again, you can really adjust the level of intensity. Um, you might have heard of HIT workouts. That's um, a high intensity interval training. So you do, let's say, five different exercises and you repeat them um, for three rounds, four rounds. I always think one round is better better than none. Um, so I always keep that in mind. And sometimes when I've done one I stop and sometimes if I feel I've got a bit more energy in me, I do another one, for example. Um, you might also have seen Joe Wicks. Um, he's a personal trainer. He's been on the news quite a lot um, at the moment. Um, very positive, great, motivating guy. And he is doing a daily hit workout on his YouTube channel that I also will provide you with with the link uh, in the description box. And... Um, it's quite intense, it definitely gets you sweating, um, but um, for some this is a really good way of, of starting starting their day. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to mention is housework. Again, something I think that's underestimated, um, that if we, you know, visit around in the, in, the, in the flat or in the room and, um, you know, hoover or you know, clean the dust off the wardrobe, we are moving our body. So that's, that's still really good. Um, so just thought I mentioned that one as well. Um, let's move on to when to exercise. In my opinion, it's totally up to you. You can try maybe to exercise in the morning, maybe in the afternoon, um, and then see which one of those um, suited you best. Um, and you found most enjoyable. What I would say is sort of high intensity workouts like cardio. Um, I wouldn't really be doing them in the evening. I would do something more like stretching, something a bit more relaxing um, before going to, to bed. Um, also encourage you to come up with a bit of a routine. So maybe challenge yourself to get up in the morning and tell yourself that every morning at 10 a.m. you're going to do a 10 minute stretch exercise um, or every two days whatever works best for you um, but it creates a good feeling of having completed something so tick off the box sort of thing um, and anything really counts that you take some time for yourself and and do that um, Zoe and I have actually set ourselves the challenge to do the Joe Wicks daily workout every Friday together, uh, which is exciting. Um, challenge accepted. Um, so you're welcome to join us in on Friday if you fancy. Um, we'll definitely be sweating and have a little catch up later. So um, more than welcome to join us guys. And then the last point is the where. So again, it's totally up to you. I think the space that you've got, you just, try to make as much space as you need for the particular exercise for stretches for example you won't need as much space but if you do like a hip workout you might want to make sure you've got more space to move from one to the other side um and yeah try to be somewhere where you maybe won't get distracted so you can focus on 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 the time that you you committed yourself to um i think that's it so those are um sort of is an introduction into to being active so we've looked at 
why to do exercise why is it good to, for you to do exercise and just to repeat that one more time we are missing out on on the the exercise that we do every day by just walking to places so we need to um replace that by doing a bit more physical activities um, at home and then we looked at what sort of exercises you can be doing um, for some it's yoga for some it's the HIIT workouts um, and providing you with um, resources in the description box below so you can easily just click on it um, then we looked at one when to exercise and where to exercise so I hope that's given you a good um, overview about how you can be active at home. And um, I'd encourage you to ask any questions that you would like um, the comment in the comment box below or give us some feedback. Um, also, maybe let us know what sort of topics you'd be interested in hearing from Chef Michael, um, from me, from Zoe, um, to make this as much relevant as we can for you guys, because that's the whole purpose of it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I was able to motivate yourself to use, uh, a little bit to maybe try try out a little exercise and um, definitely stay tuned for our next video on Friday. Thank you for watching again, guys. Bye-bye.